This is a battery. As you've seen it before, this is the left hand side, so that's the front and that's the back. This is a casing, which I've only done it as a prototype with um, some shitty old um, PETG that's probably knackered that's going to go in the bin because it's all brittle and yeah it will crack. This slots over there like that. There are gaps in it because I didn't use any, any support or anything and it started lifting because it warped. So that's going to go on there. If I've done quite a good job actually. I'm amazed that it's come out so well. It actually supports the battery perfectly. Now the idea of it is, uh, there was two reasons. I had to do it in these segments because there wasn't enough room on the bed. And also I had to do it that high because there wasn't enough room on the bed. So, actually I could have done that one to the top and then just printed. No, I don't care. So what I've got to do now is print it properly, which I'm going to do in... I've got some brand new black um, PETG, which I'm going to be using, which is... It's that stuff. This is the one that I used on my uh, version 2 battery holders, so I know damn well it's bloody strong enough. So I've got that. That's going to take around about 17 hours to print those two parts. I ain't joking, 17 hours. And then probably about 14 for that and then about 6 for that, or I reckon. And obviously I've got two of these to do, but they support the batteries perfectly. Quite impressed how that come out. At the end of it all, I've made screw holes in here, all the way around just in case. Uh, this I've changed and put screw holes in it so as I can screw it to the aluminium plate. Now, ultimately this is going to be covered anyway. It's, I'm just going to get some packing tape over it and just just hold it together. I'll glue these in place with super glue and then I'll use packing tape just to hold it all together. As I've said, Tony, twice. Say it again. I'm going to hold it together with tape. I'm leaving that as an angle. I'm not rounding it off. Can't be arsed. I think this is only about 10% infill. And it weighs about half a kilo. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Although there's not actually a lot. Oh, bollocks. I'm back. I'm back from the land of being absolutely bloody crippled. Um, I'm near, nearly, nearly fixed. So I want to thank all the people. I can't, I really can't thank you enough. The amount of comments that I've actually got and the suggestions. I've tried absolutely every one of them. The only one that worked, I'm going to put down here the name of the person who actually suggested the fix it's the only thing that's actually worked anybody who's suffering with sciatica please try it because it bloody well works I can't believe it actually never thought it would but it did link in the description to the video how to fix it anyway carrying on I'm nearly fixed like I say so I can get back to doing this there's not a lot to see but this is the battery layout this bit here is where the battery sits, obviously, well maybe not. This piece I've still got to cut but I've just put it here just so as it, I can measure things up and I know exactly where things are going. The batteries themselves stick out the top here by uh, 20 millimeters, I think. And I've got to put the BMS probably up here. Uh, this bit I'm going to shake that down to virtually nothing there or just about enough to actually cover the batteries because of the seat post being in the wrong bloody place don't know what to do about that uh, I can't do anything um, the top is gonna come up to about here or the t no hang on right the bot the top at the bottom or the back piece is gonna come up to about here and then it's going to increase up to, I think it's about 60 or 70 mil up there. 
the BMS is going to go in the middle there between the two batteries or it's actually going to go on top of the batteries then I'll have a phone holder and everything else up here and I can put all the electronics and all the smaller electronic bits in the bottom now the idea is or what I'm thinking of is if I 3D print a cover that goes across the two pieces or two, I'm going to do two halves I hope anyway if I can get away with it and then what I'm going to do is carbon fibre all of this and over the top and then I'll have another piece that actually sticks on the top with all the phone holder and everything else on top of it that's the idea anyway whether it's going to work I don't know this has turned into an absolute nightmare of a job I mean, those, those pieces took well that one there took five hours that one there took five hours that one there took about four hours for some reason that's not as wide as the rest of them. Dunno, don't care, it fits. The battery fits absolutely perfectly in there, believe it or not. And it comes right to the very bottom of the, the uh, down tube. Obviously the down tube goes down there, but the reason why I've put that there is so as I can put the sub button underneath and they'll be locating things. Dunno yet. I don't know a lot. Uh, so there you go. So uh, I'm I'm busy designing the top piece, the top cowling. Um, you won't believe the amount of work that went into this just to do that. Believe it or not, the engineering challenges I've come up against with that thing already is unreal. Uh, I've run into so many different problems, but that's going to be wide enough now, or not not as wide that I can't pedal it. Um, it is working out very very well so I'm looking forward to getting it finished actually just so as you can see the layout of the inside like that it fits perfectly in there absolutely perfectly the BMS is going to go um, I'm going to have to make this come out here right on the very edge as close as I can get it and then the BMS is actually going to fit Although I can't bloody show you, the BMS is going to sit about there and then, because that's going to have to be up to about here and then it's going to go down to the back there so what I've got to do is measure how much I can get away with on here so as I can just put the cowling around there if I leave about 5mm for a skin sort of coating, a, a covering yeah, so if I measure that there, which is going to be around about 35mm, so that's got to come up 35mm to about there, and then that'll it'll it'll go at an angle like that, sort of like that anyway, just so as it'll clear the seat. That's the only thing I'm concerned about now, is lifting it. It's going to have to be lifted front first and then just to clear the seat. So I'm going to get back to designing and then I can start printing a top covering for it and then I'm going to put a bit of a more of a, a cowling on the top for the phone holder and everything else, which can be removed if needs be and, you know. But that's that. There's part of the top cowling. Um, the only thing I'm going to need on this is the series connector, on, no it isn't, series connector is going on the back, on the front. This one's going to be the main power connector, um, the main power sockets are going to come out there, positive and negative. What else? Uh, BMS is going to go on the top, hang on. BMS is going to go around about there, I think. Yeah, maybe a bit back, I don't know. I can't let go because it will just fall off. So, the BMS is going there, um, this is going to be the power connector back, it's squared off I know but I can't shape it unfortunately, there's limitations on where I can put connectors and stuff like that, so I've got to have a square edge to actually do it and I need them to be out of um, direct rain thing. So that's that. Um, 
I'm just doing the cowling for the top here. Obviously, this isn't how it's exactly how it's going to be. Um, it's just taped into place just so as I can get a feel for exactly how it is. Uh, one of the compartments I mean light don't work. I don't know which one it is. One of the compartments I've filled with um, I put the neoprene on it. So the idea is the other bits the other bit goes straight to about there and then there's a hump for the BM, to get the BMS in because that ain't going to fit in there the batteries actually sit um, it'll sit about there actually and then on the top here I've got an inspection hole uh, as big as I could make it just in case I need to get any wires in and out now the other thing is where the, where the hump's going to be here I'm going to have the charge port and there's going to be a hole for the Bluetooth module and the beeper so as it's right in front of me and then on the top piece here there's going to be a, a phone holder which I'm going to glue on afterwards or secure, I don't know how yet but I need that inspection hole just in case I need to get to the batteries and then this is carbon fibre vinyl wrap which I used on my other one which was horrible to apply and it stretches and it's shit it looks good but it's shit it does the job that was what I used but this is proper carbon fibre 100% carbon fibre it's 3k uh, 2 twill blah, blah, I don't know what it is anyway I've got another piece coming because this one wasn't big enough well actually I've got two of these and they're not big enough for what I need so I'm going to be doing here's my resin and my hardener got all the bits, got all the brushes, got all the measuring jugs, got absolutely everything ready for it so what I'm going to do when I've finished printing all the bits obviously and it's all ready to be put together I'm going to wrap it it's only going to be a carbon fibre skin I'm not making moulds, I'm not making anything you know, what you see at the minute is what it's going to be like but with a carbon fibre skin on it purely because to make it 100% strong <laughs> he says <laughs> so it's just an insight now I don't do plugs for anybody really um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Hang on. Ordinarily, I wouldn't have used carbon fibre. I would have just used that carbon uh, vinyl wrap sort of thing. But people want to see something really special. And I know you've all been waiting for something really special. So I thought I'd do something really special. The only limitation now, I've got, I've got two forms of income that I use to build the bike. Number one is YouTube revenue, which has gone completely off the bloody scale I ain't joking it takes me about two two and a half hours to edit every video that I upload and this one's probably going to take more because of all the f swearing in it it takes me about two two and a half hours to edit a video and I'll get four pounds four pounds for that work for all the work that I put into it for all the expl explanations into the bits and pieces that I have done and I am going to do I'll get four pounds do you feel sorry for me yet? <laughs> no. I've also got my Patreon account. Now, I don't normally plug the Patreon system because I don't really like it. But if you join Patreon, even if it's only $1 a month, you get to see a lot more than just this. You get to see all the videos a week early. You get to see the uncut versions. You get to see some stuff that I wouldn't, I just couldn't put on YouTube. No way could I. So, link in the description, as it always is. Patreon, if you can, brilliant. If you can't, fantastic. No, it isn't. Bollocks. If you can't, I ain't bothered. It just helps me out building things, you know, it, it makes it go a lot a lot quicker. So all the bits that I'm doing now, I've got to do the top cowling. Um, there's two, the, the top cowling is going to be in three pieces, front, middle and back. And then I can stick them on. I'm going to glue them, I think I'm going to glue them after I've bent the top 
plate over the support plate I'm also going to 3D print some um, uh, supports for around the frame to stop the, the top thing from bending and then I can start gluing it all together and I can put the carbon fibre wrap on it now I'm not going to be showing all of the carbon fibre wrap on YouTube I'll, I'll probably put it all on Patreon and I might start doing some live feeds of what I'm doing it when I'm doing it but I warn you now if you look at a live feed you may be uh, shocked because of the amount of swearing that I do anyway that's the state of play it's very very slow going at the minute purely because I've had to design all the cowling and make sure everything fits so bear with me it is moving now hopefully it'll be ready for summer 2025 <laughs>